going through an addiction to food and going through an eating disorder, I had to break that off with prayer, with Jesus. And I had all the things that I needed at my fingertips physically, but I couldn't unlock that for some reason until spiritually something budged. Welcome back Health and Wellness Tribe. Today I'm gonna to pray for you. Those of you who are struggling with your weight loss journey, sometimes we have a will and we have a way, but for some reason, things aren't moving in the direction that we want. We're not meeting our goals and let's invite Christ into that. Before we go into prayer, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel and like this video if you're looking for more health and wellness content around weight loss, gut healing, coming from a biblical and from a Christian perspective. I'm going through an addiction to, you know, food and going through an eating disorder. I had to break that off with prayer, with Jesus, and I had all the things that I needed at my fingertips physically, but I couldn't unlock that for some reason until spiritually something budged. He cares about our bodies. We are temples of the Holy Spirit, so it's backed up by scripture that, you know, it is our destiny to be well. And part of my role for you and my responsibility to you, our health and wellness family, is to help you understand how to pray to God and include God, invite God into that. So all of the outside influence, all the noise that we experience on a day-to-day -day basis that we don't know how to sift through, God can come in and give you the wisdom that you need as an individual to move through that and break through anything that is not serving you, that is keeping you from like moving forward. In a family and invite a friend, share this video. More people need to invite God into their health journey so we don't feel like we're doing this in our own strength. We're not supposed to do this in our own strength. And what better way to move forward as a Christian than to invite God into your health journey. I can't think of a better way. I do it all the time because I feel like I'm always running out of my own strength. He says in Isaiah 40, 31, those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar up on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. I'm good. So before we dive in, there's a couple of scriptures that I felt God put on my heart to share with you that you can meditate on as you sit down with your own prayer time and your own quiet time and seek him. And that's Proverbs 16, three, commit your plans to the Lord, whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. So this is directly speaking to the strategy that you should do next to meet your weight loss goal, to work on your health, to become a healthier body that God can live in and the Holy Spirit can dwell in. The second verse is Philippians 4, 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And this is perfect to just pull out of your back pocket when you're having a particularly hard day and it is like nothing is happening today. Sometimes what we need to do instead of just laying back down or sitting down and skipping what we know we should be doing is pulling out a scripture and just saying a quick prayer inviting the Lord into it and just speaking. I speak Philippians 4.13 over you, exhaustion that is keeping me from going to work out. Sometimes, yes, our body needs to rest, so I don't want you to misunderstand me. Third is Hebrews 12.11. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. I believe this is speaking to how when we have to put our hands to the tools to produce a harvest, we need to do the work. It's not going to be without work. We're going to have to work hard. None of this is easy. It was easy. Everyone would have it. Nobody would be overweight and we would all just be living our best lives. We can take that to the bank that we have to work hard, but we are going to reap when we put the work in. So keep that in your mind as you pray and ask, you know, it all goes together, right? Asking the Lord for strength. When you have none left, when you feel like you're at the end of your rope, you have nothing left to give, even though you still have to make more progress, he's going to come in and help give you the strength to get there. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you love each and every one of us and you want to see us succeed at the goals that we've set out for our health. We know that it's our destiny and our portion to be well and that you listen to us and that you're going to answer our prayers when we ask them. Father, in the name of Jesus, I cancel all addictive patterns to sugar, to food that make food an idol before you. I cancel those and I break those off of your people. Anybody watching in Jesus name. I speak to every genetic issue that would be keeping 
your people from making progress, losing weight, and I cause I cancel that in Jesus' name. I speak to all chronic disease, gut issues, any metabolic problem that would be preventing weight loss from occurring in your people. I speak to that and I cancel that in Jesus' name. Any condition or mindset keeping your people stuck and from making the progress that they need to make and want to make, I cancel this in Jesus' name. Lord, replace every single area that has been canceled, every single thing of the enemy that has been canceled, holding your people back from reaching their goals and being able to make the progress that they need. Replace that with your goodness. You said that the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I loose the fruits of the Spirit over your people as we pray. And I ask that you come in and do miracles in their lives and give them supernatural strength mentally and physically as you call them into deeper relationship with you and to, into a healthier life and physical body. I ask these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Thank you for watching. Share this with somebody you know who needs this, who needs to have a prayer spoken over them to help them make progress. Sometimes we need things unlocked in the spirit to make some progress. And how will you know what that is if you don't ask the Lord? I pray that this blessed you and I invite you to subscribe to this channel, join this family, become a part of us, and I cannot wait to see you in a future video. Bye.